<laughs> They're my sisters. My name is Sierra Andrea. I am a social media influencer on TikTok and YouTube, makeup artist, and college student. Yo, bye. Go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Oh, my Instagram is stable. Follow me on TikTok. I'm Shay. Okay. Shay is the AKA and she the most tired, period. I'm Shay. I'm the middle child. That about sums it up. That was the middle cool. child. This is the younger. The younger sister and I'm the oldest. It wouldn't be right if I didn't bring in the new year with my sisters because we're so close and we're always together. And y'all always gonna see us together, my rider guys. But basically what we're doing today is we are doing either a would you rather or a who most who would most likely to do whatever. It's about to be 2022. And before we started with our questions, I just wanted you guys to tell me what was your favorite part about 2021? Absolute favorite. My favorite part of 2021 was um, I'm in college and it's my sophomore year. And last year I was in my dorm all day with my roommate, I never did anything. But this year I actually got to go out and meet people and have fun experiences. So college and we went to LA over the summer. Yeah, I was gonna say that LA was probably my favorite part. You about said one thing. Year. LA was my favorite. We was in a drop top, chilling, going Malibu. Like that was my favorite. I felt like I was living in luxury. My favorite was graduating from college because I was like a huge milestone for me. I'm talking about <laughs> All right, so let's get into these questions. Would you rather be invisible or be able to teleport? I'd rather be able to teleport because I'm always late for stuff. So I feel like it's convenient for me. I'd rather be invisible because I don't could be talking about you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather be invisible. I want to get places because I'd be late. We want to figure out who's being snake. Right, who's being a snake. Would you rather send nudes to everyone in your contacts or walk around naked for a day? I would love to walk around naked for a day because if you send news to your contacts, that means that's your parents, your grandparents. I got I so many. Around naked because you still walk around naked all day. You ain't saying you have to go wear. I could be in wear. my room all day. Oh, true, exactly. true. Okay, you smart. Uh, and news could be like bra and panties too. News. I mean, I wouldn't want naked. my parents to see that either. I'll walk around naked all day naked. just because I would literally walk around anywhere naked. I don't care. Wait, like, no. <laughs> We don't want to speak though. Would you rather listen to one song for the rest of your life or never be allowed to listen to the same song twice? Ooh. I feel like never the same song twice because there's so much good music out there. But that's hard because some songs I can't live with. Yeah. I'm like, I just probably listen to the same. You said not listen to You could allow listen to one song for the rest of your life and it could be a song you don't listen to. Okay. I listen to song <laughs> on repeat at once. So I can't do the second option. I would just find some country song and then never listen to it. You know, that, that defeats the purpose. Like, I would rather listen to me. each song one time. It's an experience and you get over it. You find another experience, okay? <laughs> Who's most likely to get a booty tattoo? Me. I yeah. want one. Who is most likely to go skinny dipping? One, two, three. Me. She know you was late. She did it before. <laughs> I've done it. Oh. I'm actually surprisingly never did skinny dipping. That's because the opportunity was never presented to me. Well, so you didn't fully skinny dip. I didn't. You just fully skinny dip. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. I was like already in the water. No, you were you was like a skinny, skinny dip. Yeah, no. Like you step in the water, butt, but butt, butt, butt ball, naked. That I have it. Kind of. Who's most likely to end up on a reality show? All three of us. Yeah. Our lives pretty interesting. I would be the Kendall of the reality show, so I don't think I would be on. And I'd probably be the Chloe. And I'm the Kim. Well, I'm actually Courtney, but on a reality show, I would probably be Kendall. She'd be in it, but she don't be in it. In a few years, we're gonna have a reality TV show. It's called Manifestation. Who's most likely to be a drama queen? One, two, three. <laughs> Who are you? Both of y'all actually. I'm not that dramatic. That dramatic. I'm not that dramatic. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Next question. Would you rather have a pause button on life or a rewind button? 
falls ever. Mm. If you rewind, that's good. everything happens for a reason. If you rewind, exactly. that means you're trying to change something. That can and change that's everything, everything. Else. Exactly. Okay, I would say pause. If I did pause, I could take a breath, do a push up. <laughs> Put somebody like finger in their nose. I, and you know, a pause clean. is good because sometimes you need to I pause. I would be wishing that I had a pause, but yeah, yeah, that's true. So I feel okay, like that's I agree. Pause. pause in the middle of the night, so my sleep could be longer. Pause. But it depends on the rewind. Like if I can rewind like all the way back and like start all the way over and do everything differently, then that'd be different. But then you wouldn't have the life you have now. That's and even though, right, <laughs> that's right. even though you're not happy, you may not be as, as happy with the life you have now. The one that you rewind could be worse. It could so. be. And then I can rewind again and try again. Because you never know what your past mistakes or whatever you regret, what right. that can lead you to. Think about it this way. If you ain't got to Boston like that first year, would you have become a gay? Yes. Right. I was so mad been. because I wanted to go to U of I. I was like crying mad. My best friend was going there. I went to ISU and that's where I found out I wanted to be a producer, a DJ. Like I would not be Simi if I did not go to ISU. Somebody at ISU named me Simi. So you never know what life could take you for. If COVID hadn't happened, I wouldn't have met James Charles. That's facts too. I have nothing good going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you rather be homeless or in prison? Oh! <laughs> homeless. Homeless. Them homeless people be living. I'm homeless prison. people home. I would rather what? be in prison. Prison? They give you food, you got TV. No, the only thing about prison is you have a sentence, so you can get out. So it depends on And you're you taking care of you in warm. Right, you do have a sentence. But you're, be, you're inside. That, Prisoners be getting treated bad. But when you look at like the prisoners <laughs> on TikTok, they be living like we live. And they be crying too, but I'd rather be homeless. Okay, but the I world is right oyster. now where it's cold. The world is your oyster. I think of Shameless, the dad from Shameless. I live like him. I live he like was him. hitting stage every day. Okay. Living life. Especially day. when he met them rich white women. Every day. We're back. They didn't even know we love. We took a break. Hey, 2022. Hey. Okay. Sissy <laughs> was scared. I was supposed to have a hey. candle light when Miss D came up the hospital. So she was in that window. I got scared. Oh, that's the scariest. Okay. Would you rather live in a small, small New York small apartment forever or get a mega mansion in the middle of nowhere with no signal? Mega mansion with no mega signal. Mansion. With no signal? You can't go on nothing. You can't catch up with nobody. I just deleted all my social media anyway. So Can I watch TV? <laughs> you ain't got no signal, so you ain't gonna be able to use your Roku or nothing. No net. I feel like there's no point in being in the house if I can't watch TV, so. I feel like there's other things to entertain you. If I got a Mega Mansion, I got money. I'll hire people to put on skits for me. Yeah, if I have a Mega Mansion. <laughs> if you got a Mega Mansion, you could find access. Whatever, I saw the question. I'll take the house. I always find But the only thing about the house being in the middle of nowhere, that's how people be living in your house and you don't know it. If I got a Mega Mansion, right, I got that's security. Scary. What if I got a game? So y'all choose Mega Mansion. Yeah. I don't want to live in New York. This, this New York apartment is the baby on the kitchen counter. I didn't say it was in it's New gonna York. Be like, I didn't say it was in New York. I said that it's a small apartment. Yeah, like the ones in New it's York. It's going to be yes. like Sharpay takes Broadway. I'm going to bend him up the wall. I'm going to say Mega Mansion. I don't even want a mansion. I just want a, That's house. a nice house. I just want a nice house. Right. You don't even got to be big. Well, updated appliances. Would you rather always tell the truth or always lie? Always tell the truth. I yeah, I always tell the truth. Lying is so much work. Mm. You have to actually remember it. <laughs> right, you got to keep it up. I think about always tell the truth. I don't thing. lie Come like that. Not If I lie, it's like... <laughs> Would you rather have out of control body hair or strong pungent body odor? Out of control body hair. You gonna let me yeti? <laughs> stink. I'd rather do anything than stink. I'd be a. I have the body hair. Cause you I can shave. You can shave it if it's out of you control. Can, you, you can shave get wax and it waxes. Goes, what if you wax and it grows back right after? I'd rather the be like that's a hairy. <laughs> then that's a fucking. Right. <laughs> I would rather have an odor. Cause here's how I see it. If I become a very famous social media person, <laughs> people shit. never get to meet me, they just see me. Versus if you post on Instagram, somebody don't even gotta meet you in person to know that you hairy. And you know how them hairy people on HGTV that had them hair problems, they be getting famous. That's a whole thing. I'm not being hairy, as long as my face ain't hairy. They said pungent body odor, they didn't say it's stank. What you think pungent means? Like, like strong. I don't, I don't want a strong body. Odor. I don't want nobody. To I, I don't be here. What if it was strong like Dior? Who wants to smell every day like that? I'd be warm in the winter. Hello. We live in Chicago. Yo, you I see the cheeks. <laughs> Would you rather go on a date with Brent Fias or Damson Idris? Who the f is Idris? Oh. This is the last time they'll be on my YouTube channel. Brent Fire. 
is. Cause he can sing me songs. Huh? Yeah, Brent. I just was trying to find somebody that is worth like mentioning. And... But Brent Fires. <laughs> me and Brent Fires can sing, sit down and he gonna sing Love Me. Okay. We're gonna recreate the rehab music video. Oh, I love rehab music video. I had to listen to it every morning. And I had to watch the video at night. That's that's how I feel about what you heard? Which one of us is most likely to move out of the country? Maybe Cece. Most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse. One, two, three. I watch all the shows that do that. When I walk into a room, I think of escape routes. I do too, but the, a zombie apocalypse, you know? You don't know how to survive a zombie, a zombie apocalypse until you've actually watched I The think Walking Dead. I've watched plenty of shows. The Walking Dead is the, is the- Have you seen World War Z? American made guide book to apocalypse. I feel like- Cause it's realistic. I feel like if you're smart and you know how to strategize, you can survive the zombie babe. apocalypse. If it comes to my life, I'm not gonna be lazy. If the zombies come, I'm I'm going. Uh-uh. Why would I want to survive some shit like that? So you can tell a story. That's a book, baby. She don't want If God want me to go, I'm gonna go. Well, me and Sierra will survive. Moni will perish. So now you're perish. spilling all of your stuff. <laughs> you just spilled it. So that's it with the questions. Whatever video you would like to see with my sisters and me. We can do some more, you know, whatever y'all want us to do. We do a lot of videos. Just let me know whatever y'all want us to do. You know, we can do some some cool sh some crazy sh You know, some informative sh Before we end this video, we are about to go into 2022. And I just wanna know, what is your main goal? Just one main goal for 2022. My main goal is to cut off. I hope that is not your only goal. <laughs> My main goal is to focus more on self care and reciprocate energy. Reciprocate energy. That's all I'm talking about. My main goal is to have more feelings but less feelings. Because everybody said that I'm too nonchalant, but then I'll be feeling like I care too much about things. I feel like I just need to redirect I that. know I care too much about things. Me too. That's I need to redirect energy. But when I spend too much energy on one thing, I need to be like, oh, they're not reciprocating, so do something more productive. Yeah. Mine has to be positive. I feel like I'm always like, mean. Negative Nancy. Don't be really like trying to be positive about stuff. And I always think of the worst case scenario. So I'm like this year, I'm gonna put all my energy towards positivity and not cry every day because <laughs> my nail broke. Say that again. I don't think they heard you. Say it again one more time. I cry every day. Roll a clip of her crying. I'm <laughs> sure somebody got one in their phone. I'm a cancer. What can you say? No, because I'm a cancer and I don't cry as much as you. You're a gym cancer. Yeah. Cancer. So those are our goals. So whenever we watch this video in 2023, we're gonna look back and we're gonna see how far we come from these goals. And Ooh. if y'all have any goals that y'all have for 2022, feel free to comment and share with me. I would love to hear them. Is there anything y'all wanna say? More like titty. I would like to thank y'all for watching me and my obnoxious sisters. On this New Year's Eve, thank you for sharing this experience with us. I hope y'all have a wonderful 2022. Make some money. The haters. Get that bread. Get that head and leave. But y'all really have a great year. And it's about time to already have a good year. Hopefully COVID, something happens and COVID just leaves the earth because I'm tired. But other than that, I hope y'all prosper. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye. Bye. Bye.